The ancient history of India unveils a complex and nuanced role for women transcending traditional gender norms. In both North and South India, women held significant positions and wielded considerable power, with matrilineality acting as a distinctive thread in the fabric of societal structures. Matrilineality, a social system where lineage is traced through the maternal line, played a crucial role in shaping the position of women in ancient Indian societies. Unlike many other ancient civilizations where patrilineal systems dominated, India witnessed a more balanced approach, recognizing the importance of both maternal and paternal ancestry. This matrilineal thread provided women with a distinct identity and, in some cases, allowed for a more equitable distribution of power within families and communities. In North India, women held diverse roles in both domestic and public spheres. The Rigveda, one of the oldest sacred texts of Hinduism, mentions the participation of women in religious rituals and ceremonies. Women in the Vedic period were educated, and some even composed hymns and verses. The concept of Sri Dharma outlined the duties and responsibilities of women, emphasizing their roles as wives, mothers, and contributors to the well-being of the family. In the political realm, instances such as the rule of Queen Didda in Kashmir during the 10th century exemplify the influential positions women could attain. While queens often held symbolic roles, some exercised significant political power behind the scenes. The Gupta and Maurya periods also saw women contributing to administration and governance. South India witnessed a unique blend of matrilineal societies and powerful queens. The Chola dynasty, for example, saw queens like Sembian Mahadevi and Kundavai, who actively participated in governance and cultural patronage. Matrilineal practices, particularly in regions like Kerala, granted women rights to property and inheritance, challenging the patriarchal norms prevalent in other ancient cultures. The Sangam literature, a collection of Tamil poems and writings, portrayed women as educated, skilled in various arts, and active participants in trade and commerce. The Tamilakam concept acknowledged the importance of women in societal affairs, recognizing their role as contributors to economic prosperity and cultural development. Women in ancient India played crucial roles in religious and spiritual domains. The worship of goddesses such as Sarasvati, Lakshmi, and Parvati underscored the significance attributed to the divine feminine. The concept of Ardhanarishvara, symbolizing the union of Shiva and Shakti, emphasized the complementary nature of male and female energies in the cosmic order. However, it's important to note that while some women found empowerment in religious practices, the social and religious landscape was not universally egalitarian. Brahmanical orthodoxy often reinforced patriarchal norms, limiting the access of women to certain rituals and educational opportunities. Despite the noteworthy positions held by women in ancient India, societal norms were not devoid of challenges. The later periods witnessed a gradual decline in the status of women, influenced by factors such as foreign invasions, changing economic structures, and the codification of societal norms in texts like Manas Mridi, which tended to be more restrictive towards women. The role of women in ancient India was intricate and multifaceted, shaped by matrilineal traditions, socio-economic conditions, and cultural values. From the Vedic period to the Chola dynasty, women in both North and South India actively participated in various aspects of life, contributing to the socio-cultural and political tapestry of their respective regions. While challenges and decline marked later periods, the legacy of empowered women in ancient India remains a testament to the diverse roles they played in shaping the course of history.